Well, what is going on? Welcome back to Clayton Chick Outdoors. Of course, I'm Clayton Chick. This is 100% the outdoors. That's Carter Reed Exner fishing up front already because we are a minute late. Today, we are fishing in a fish donkey tournament hosted by Wally Mafia on Lake of the Prairies. And uh, like I said, we're a minute late, so I'm gonna actually pick up a raw and start fishing and we'll talk more about it as we're fishing. So while editing this video, I realized and decided that I wanted to do a little bit of talking during the video and kind of explain the event and explain some of the past events actually too that Walleye Mafia has hosted. As I said, this was a Walleye Mafia uh, hosted event on the, the Fish Donkey app and it's a CPR, catch, uh, so catch photo release tournament. I really believe that a catch photo release is going to play a strong factor in the futures tournaments of taking care of some of the bigger fish especially because some of the bigger fish don't survive as well in the live well as say uh, a slot size fish does so i really feel like whether the tournaments are going to go a full cpr or a full cpr to me the funnest thing to do is to go out and chase the five biggest fish not all slot fish or three slot fish plus two big fish like let's go after the three biggest fish sorry the five biggest fish but anyways that's a whole nother topic for another time like i said this was a, a walleye mafia hosted event this was in uh may long weekend of 2023 but there was two previous events that i fished in in september long of 2022 i fished with a good buddy wade kohlenberg and we uh had a good we had a really good event we caught a beautiful 29 incher uh, a gorgeous 27 and three quarter at the end of the day. We ended up finishing second place. I'll roll a few of those clips, or I'll roll one of the clips right now. Maybe. Reel up then. Oh, fish, 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 fish. Yeah. Feels good too. Okay. Here, I'm gonna reel up. What's that? Just put it, the clicker on and loosen the drag or what? You can you can reel up, because you can check for weeds anyway. Okay. That's a good one. Yeah, this, if this isn't a pike, it's big fish. Okay, dude. Oh, oh, don't be a pike. I'm right here. I can't see it yet. Big walleye. Big walleye. <laughs> big walleye. Big walleye. Sorry. <laughs> big walleye. We struggled a little bit. We just popped a 29 incher though. We started the troll and bang, took my head camera off. Everything like that. We kind of, not we gave up, but just needed a little bit of a regroup and yeah wade's gonna get the camera now and we're gonna do a release with the phone for uh the fish donkey tournament that we're in right now so that fish was 29 inches and it ended up tying for the biggest fish in the tournament but was uh what was actually ended up being the biggest fish because we had the second biggest fish that's how the rules went it was like if you had a tie for the biggest fish you go on to whoever had the second biggest fish which we had we finished second in that event and let me look here because i'm in the middle of editing everything but we we're right there, we are second. Oh no, that's last year's event, where we're also second. We'll get to that too. We had a total of 122 and a half inches, it looks like here, and uh, the first place had 125. So we were, we were close, we needed another bite, we needed like a 23, a 24 incher. At the same notion, we also did get our 27 and three quarter near the end of the night, which also bumped us up to second place. We're also very uh, fortunate to get second. It was a very good tournament in terms of fish biting and bigger fish being caught. That fall time at Lake the Prairie seems to be a lot of bigger fish caught compared to the spring. So that was the first tournament, second place, things were good. Go a year, a year later, exactly. I had a different partner, my, my son, my, not, Carter isn't technically my son, Carter is my, how is that, a stepson? He's Cindy's my girlfriend's kid, who I have kind of taken under my wing and, uh, and showed him everything that I know about fishing, which isn't that much, but he's catching on fast. He's starting to do some tournaments on his own as well. But anyways, Carter and I fished this event, this same Walt Wally Mafia event last fall, and we, I, I didn't say I got, I got cocky, but I was having some fun with the whole thing. I was like, I said, I'm going to win this event. Like, come try to stop me. And Russell Video had some fun with this. There's a, a Russell Video in Russell, Manitoba, who has a large selection of fishing tackle. Matt, and I, I forget his wife's name. I apologize. Um, he's a great fisherman on Lake of the Prairies. I believe he actually finished just second in a tournament recently too here. Um, very, very good stick, really good angler, but has a video or has a story. has a store in Russell called the Rus Russell video and has a pile of fishing tackle in there. So if you're ever in that area, I highly recommend, uh, stopping in there. But anyway, Matt threw a bounty on my head for anybody that was going to beat me. He was going to give a hundred dollar gift card. 
and he matched it. I think what he did is he actually did $50 and he asked me to match it. And I'm like, okay, I'll match it. So I'm going into this tournament with like a pile of pile of pressure. An hour into the tournament, this happens. Get the net. Broke a rod. No idea what happened. But I'm still fighting the fish and it's, I think it's decent too. I can't tell obviously because I don't have a, a rod. Yeah, get the net. Oh wait, yes, 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 Carter! Broken rod, big fish! Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Okay, hold it up for a photo. <laughs> yeah, buddy, right there. One more, just wait. Okay, release video. Just wait, just wait, just wait. Okay, good, video's going. 29, baby, 29 and a half. 29 and a half, right? On a broken rod. So finishing second in that event, and that one, the weights were, or not the weights, the lengths were a little bit smaller. Carter and I had 111.75, and, and Don, who won it two years in a row, had 114.25. Carter and I needed literally a 23 and a half inch fish, which was like, I was on those fish and pre-fishing. I had caught some big fish. Obviously, as you saw, I knew where some big fish were hanging out because we did catch one an hour in. Um, we just couldn't put it together. And that was probably the, the toughest mentally when you had such a good start and just couldn't capitalize. It was like, we just need like one 23 inch or like, why can't we get this? Why can't we make this happen? But second year or second place for two years in a row. Now this May, was our third crack at it here to try to take down the title from Dawn, from everybody else. This one had 18 boats. So first, first event had 32, second event had 21, and then we had 18. I'm trying to go through my notes here to see if there's anything, anything else that I should talk about. I will wrap this video up at the end as on here and talk about our finish and everything we were, but let's, uh, let's roll the video now and get into the whole event of our third tournament on the May long weekend of the Walleye Mafia event. Let's go. First spot, zero fish, but it's okay. It's all good. We'll get them. Is it like right on a border? Or Ch something? Change like what? Yeah, we're right on a border. Yeah, literally. So it's, mm, it's a it's a border gotcha. lake. Nat Carter. Yeah. I need to net a fish. One sec. Okay, so I'm here, Darren. It's it it's set right. automatically. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so let's tra let's go here. Let's try to change to Winnipeg. Okay, there we're yeah, good. Okay, we got it. I go, come over here. I got it. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Okay, okay, we're good. good. Yeah, the app looks at what time it is, and then it also of course like it does a calculation of what uh, time zone you're in. Yeah, so no, like it understand. Still like if you're not, but anyway. Yeah, yeah no, we're good. Okay. okay, thank you. All right, good luck. Okay, you. have a good day. Bye. Bye. Okay, I'll take a photo of you. Here, well, it's me. Okay. Okay, just wait. Okay, release it. First fish, 19 incher, going back. Okay, we we're on the board. We had a little bit of an issue with the app. Uh, it, it's time sensitive in terms of your zone and the, uh, the tournament started at nine. We slid into Saskatchewan and it's all of a sudden our phone changed so we couldn't enter a fish. Another boat had a problem, contact the tournament director, the guy that runs the app and uh, got it fixed instantly. So we've got one fish on the board right now, a 19 incher. We're going to like spot four right now. We've got one registered fish. 19 was it just 19 even right yeah 19 incher so we're not doing so good but lots of day left we still have well <laughs> it's almost 11 so we've already been fishing for two hours already we got to pick up our socks we'll get her done though no nah, it's okay you're okay you're okay okay i guess we'll <laughs> guess it's bigger than yours hey what? Yeah, it's 19 and a quarter. So here. Okay, you put him back. Our second fish, 19 and a half. Caught by Clayton. Nice. Talk to me. Um, 
Yeah, yeah. yeah. We got to keep this net closer. No, I don't think so. No. Seven, not even quite 17 and a half. Bit net. Uh, no. What is it? Oh yeah. Yeah, maybe. That's, yeah, that's, that's better. Okay, now picture you. Show it off that camera quick though, just so we do something there. Carter, 21 and a quarter. Puts our third fish on the board, going back. Good. good? Yeah, good. Well, we haven't been very vocal on the cameras because we're just so concentrated on tournament mode, but Carter entered us our third fish, 21 and a quarter. So we've got three fish right now. If we could, we get rid of all of our fish besides that 21 and a quarter, like say we end up with five bigger than that, that would be a great day right now. So fishing's a little bit slower. We've had a cold front. Water dropped over 10 degrees overnight, and uh, we've gone from plastics to jigs and leeches right now just because of the bites that finicky. Uh, just on the other side of the road. Like where it starts to drip? Small? Yeah. I guess you still had a leech. Oh, that was a hard hit. I don't know size because it came right up at me. Uh, it feels good, Carter. Yep, yep, yep. Yep. Yes. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. We're doing it. We're doing it. Okay. Just wait. I want to photo with you. Okay. And video. Go. 19 three quarter, going home. Yeah? Um, no. Uh, possibly. Ready? Well, we're gonna register our fifth fish here, maybe 18 and a half, 19, something like that. Oh, it's 20 and a, oh, it's bigger than I thought. That's, that's amazing. Hold on, Good. hold on. Yeah. Good? Right there. Right and going over. Okay, photo with you. Okay. Okay, go back. I already did a video with it. 20 and a half, going back. That's our fifth fish registered. Well, we've got our five fish registered 19, 19 and a half, 19 three quarter, 20 and a half, and 21 and a quarter. So we've Officially got three fish we want to upgrade. We want to be all over 20s, but we really need like a kicker fish, like a 25, 26 inch or something like that as well. 32. <laughs> 32. Good thing we stopped and checked it out, eh? Good? Uh, no, not big enough. Oh boy. Yeah? No. No? Mad rig though. Well, we're officially going to spot five. We've got 100 inches even. So it's not bad. The good thing is now like every time we upgrade two, three inches, right? We see our score go higher and higher over 100. 110 is probably still the goal. So we got a lot of work to do. Where were you seeing them? Up high, low? Oh, geez. Jeez. Water here. 56. Nice. Oh yeah. 
Uh, be close, Carter. This will be close. I'll bring him this way, this side. Yeah, that's 20. Nice. What do we need to be? 19, not quite. Uh, no, just 19 even, same. Not quite. Oh, but that's good if that age class is here. Nice. Yep, 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 yep. This feels good. Boat go over the talon, boat's gonna turn that way, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is like a 22. Nice. Maybe. Maybe. What? Eight, 18 and three quarter. Oh. <laughs> I know what it's like. That's how we're gonna score bigger fish is likely in shallow. It's okay, I don't care. I'd rather be ready than not. Feels good, looks good. Maybe. That looks better, I think. 20 and a quarter. Okay, go back. Reese doesn't matter yet. See ya. So what does that replace a 19? Yeah. Inch and a quarter, 101.25. Well, we got a hint of service for a second. It looks right now that we're in the lead. We have 101.25, but we need a lot more than that yet. We're catching fish, like it's good. We're catching lots of fish. We've caught some nice ones. We're just looking for those kicker fish yet. Okay, going another spot. So far, so good. In the lead, it looks like there is one team that hasn't registered any fish yet, so who knows? Talk to me. Yep, yep. Be close. Okay, picture to me. Video go 19 three quarter, going back. Small? Uh, yeah, probably won't make it. No. Because we're 19 and 19 and three quarters, right? No. Yeah. Be close, but not quite. Good? Um, yeah, I think so. I think so. Unless I have them hooked funny. I don't know, now it's coming in pretty easy. Staying low though. That's it. Thanks. Oh, should be right. 20. Twenty, so it gives us a quarter inch, but we got to we got to do it. Okay, and back. A little upgrade for us. Quarter inch. Going back. Three hours remaining. At this point, we're not sure if we're in the lead. Really, my my phone shows we we are, but I haven't had phone service for a while. So that same notion. There's a couple of our fish that haven't registered either yet. So. We're just gonna keep plugging along and try to make something happen. We're really looking for a 24, 25 inch or yeah, it would be really nice. Let's dump the trolling motor here because we're gonna we're gonna fish this no matter what all the way around. In it to win it. In it to win it. Carter, in it to win it. No mercy. No mercy. 
Had a boy. Yeah, yeah. No. No. Oh, that looked good. That looked good. Yeah. Feels good. Good. I think so. Can't tell for sure. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes! 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 Corner! Game plan comes together. Oh! It's like 23, 22. Okay, picture you. There we go. Guess wait, video. Show it off that camera real quick. 22 and a quarter. Big upgrade for us right there back in ice we're just staying in the game plan right down the shoreline pitching yep good good big 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 oh, yeah. big big is my rod in the way no Real big, Carter. Real big. We did it. Carter, we just did it. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me, Carter? This is like 27. 27, it's like 29, Carter. We did it! Right there, 29 and a half. Oh, hold on. 29 and a half right there. We just caught a slob. 29 and a half. Tickle tail. Unreal. Okay. Okay, and now, do, now the put the video. Recording? Yeah. 29 and a half. Unbelievable. Going back. Oh. oh. Unbelievable. I'm so jacked right now. And then I just hit the check mark. Yeah. And then just put it down and I'll do the rest here. <laughs> Carter. I'm vibrating right now. Like absolutely vibrating. Popped it up. I felt the thunk. I said it and I just, I remember, all I remember saying is big, big. Carter, big, big. I just kept saying big over and over again. So exciting. I think if our, cal if our calculations are correct, we added it up. We're at 113 and three quarter which with the way the bite's been is going to be very tough to beat I'm, somebody could eat, obviously catch 230 inches right like but we we're going to keep going with the plan here going down the shoreline just pitching and popping we're both on tickle tails uh here i'll show one that's beat up already right here 3.8 inch tickle tail i'm just shaking still like vibrating from that fish this one's beat up fishing this on a 3 8 ounce pendu jig gold color and literally we're just going along the shoreline casting it and just popping it popping it make sure it hits the bottom popping it popping it and yeah that fish was uh, that fish was a tank right there yours was close yours was 19 and three quarters Had a boy good yeah i think so is it a walleye I think that's it. Be close. It'll be close. It'll be close. Yeah, it'll be close. So we gotta be we have a 20 and a quarter, so that's where we gotta be. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's there. For sure. It's a 21. That's a three-quarter inch upgrade. That's a great fish. That's a great fish. Okay, now you can do the video. We're good. Good? Yeah, 21 inch or little upgrade for us. Nice. Yep. Yep. Little? Yep. For sure, small, right? Like not, not bigger than 21. Ooh, yep, 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 yep. Oh boy. I think. Maybe. Oh, 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 could be Carter. 
I'll call it after. Okay, show it to me. I'll call it after when I. Not a boy. Just wait. Okay, video, good. A little upgrade again. Unreal, out of boy. Carter just upgraded us again. We have literally upgraded four of our fish in the last hour, just plugging along with our original game plan. This was always like our game plan was to just get shallow and just pitch in, knowing that we we're gonna get less bites, but potentially those fish. So we literally could have, we've got 10 fish now probably for like two scores of like 100 inches each. So we've had a, an unreal day with how many fish we've caught over 19 inches. It's been really good. Well, as you can see, we had a really good day and it was good enough to win. Carter and I got her done. We finished in first place with 115 and a half inches. Second place was 108.5 with Blair Leslie. And uh, I'll, have, I'll have listed here the, the top, the top, whatever, the top 17, something like that. I think I can fit in the screen. It was, uh, it was a good event. Carter and I had a game plan. Our game plan was to basically pitch shore with swim baits. And this is what I got on to earlier, as you've seen some of my previous videos this year, was a 3 8 ounce Pendu jig from Acme, fishing with right there, the Acme, uh, sorry, this is the Kalins, the Kalins Tickle Tail. This says 2.8, I was actually fishing with a 3.8 inch, and that is the color Sunny. That was the ticket, that was our game plan. Now I will say this, the game plan at some point in the middle of the day got a little bit uh, off track. The bite started really slow and uh, started to fish with some leeches. And for that, I was using a quarter ounce Kalins Gold uh, Google Eye Jig. I think I was actually using a live bait though jig. I was using the short shank, not the long shank. I use this one for using uh, minnows or night crawler or something like that. Leeches, I usually run the shorter shank one. But so anyways, back, back to the whole thing. Our game plan was to pitch shorelines, try to make it happen. And we got off of our, our game plan track a little bit just because there was a huge cold front. And I was like, you know what? Maybe the fish are a little bit deeper right now. And uh, we, we got going. As the video went, you saw it was like, we, we just got better and better and better as the day went. And then once the water started to warm up in the last like three hours, my Carter was like, we're gonna hit the shoreline, trolling motor down, we're gonna pound it and we're gonna make it happen. And got really lucky to catch that 29 and a half. It was a big, big fish. It was, there's no doubt it was, uh, it was a big, healthy, fat one. Uh, the cool thing was, is now these three fish donkey tournaments in a row, even though we didn't win the other two, we were second, second, and now one, we actually brought home the biggest fish in every event. A 29 incher in the first one, a 29 and a half incher in the second one, and a 29 and a half incher in the third one. So we're getting very fortunate with some big fish bites. I believe Wally Mafia will be hosting another September long tournament. I do plan to be there unless something else comes up. And uh, so try to come take away our title. It's a very, very well run event. Dino does a great job with Wally Mafia. And uh, it's, a, it's a small entry fee, right? Like $100, $125. So it's not like it's a, a huge entry tournament, but it just helps you kind of get into the, the tournament scene a little bit. There's actually father and son I forget where they came from, like like two, three hours away to fish the event. And he also filmed it a well as well. I'll leave his, his link below. Um, it's just a short little video of their day type of thing and how they did. Uh, Ken Zaretsky was another guy. Uh, Ken and Trish Outdoors, they filmed their event as well. It was kind of neat to see, right? Like 18 teams, but three of them were actually filming uh, their day. So I'll link both of those videos below. If you want to go check them out. And yeah, that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget get outside.